So today I have another hairstyles video. Ooh, ooh. These are four back to school hairstyles. That is the awesome part. Only include one hair tie or elastic. Super stretchy, okay? And thick. And doesn't have anything to break it, okay? One brush, any brush, which is optional, obviously. And then you can use a hair clip. I might use a hair clip. But yeah. Okay, so I have also a mirror. So because I'm doing this in front of my phone, so I'm just going to use the mirror tool. So you're going to start out with your hair to use super, 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 super soft and not, not free. Not free. So, I'm just going to start out by rushing all the way through it just to make sure if it's not three, not free, and super, super soft. Okay, so now that my hair is all done getting crushed, I'm just going to hold my hair into a side ponytail. If you're not a second elastic, you can. Okay, so with this hair that I have, I'm just going to slit it into two. Slit it into two even pieces. And then you're going for each side. Oh, and I also forgot to mention what braid this was. It is a side fishtail braid. Okay, I'm actually going to be showing you five braids. Okay. Five different hairstyles. Okay, so with this, uh, with this hairstyle, you're just going to want to take one small piece from the outer side. Bring it cross over and attach it with the second section. Now from the second section, you're going to take the same thing and just do that all the way down, making sure not to lose any pieces. I'm going to act fast because I don't have the pause button on my dang phone, as you can see. So it's super easy, it's exactly like braiding, but a little bit different. You only have two sections, and you're taking sections from outer sides to the inner sides. So it's taking like two pieces, bring one in to the out, just like that. Make sure you take good sized pieces. I've been taking pieces like this because I find it to be better when you have a small piece but still kind of thick but not fully thick so yes this is my second hair tutorial which is so awesome You'll keep scrunching it up or else you'll get, your hairs will start to fall out. There will be a super thick piece that won't honestly look all that good. Which is, I was experimenting today and I just kind of learned how to do this last night. I've always tried fishtailing and it just never worked out for me and my mom never actually got it either. So, I planned to teach her. As far down as you want, I'm going to stop here, take my elastic, and secure it. Now, you can leave your fishtail thick, I mean like make it look thin and stuff. So that's what the finished hairstyle looks like. Now it looks like a normal braid, but honestly you guys, it's not. Now I'm going to pull some baby hairs out from the other side. I don't have long hair, which is why my hair falls out. And plus I probably didn't grab it enough. So you can do it as long as you'd like. Now just to make it look thicker, pancake it.
So that's going to show off the hairstyle a lot better. You can see the fish tail in it. So it's super fun. It's super easy once you get the hang of it. At first, I tested it out on my bangs, and I personally loved it. So here I'm just starting to take out my braid. Now what you're going to do is just kind of re-brush it out because there is going to be a couple of knots. This next hairstyle is basically bringing a small French braid from up here. You're not going to secure it with anything or use it on the elastics. You're going to bring it from here and then you're just going to regular braid it all the way down. Now this is, I think, one that I created. I'm honestly not sure. So what you're basically going to do for French braiding is you're going to split your hair into three even pieces. Don't use a big chunk. And then you're just basically going to cross over from side to middle to middle to side. If it doesn't make any sense to you the way I explained it to you, you can ask your mother or your father, or you can just watch a YouTube video on it. So you're just going to French braid all the way down, kind of going to stay close to the lines of my head. And it doesn't matter how good you are at French braiding, it'll look pretty no matter what. French braiding does take quite a bit of practice, but what you're basically doing is braiding while the braid is stuck to your head. While you're braiding down, you're basically just going to add hairs in to all three strands, kind of. But each time you're on a strand, make a stitch, and yeah. So this is how far I'm going to go down with my French braid from here down. Now I'm going to take all my hair and pull it into a side ponytail kind of but I'm not going to add an elastic just yet. I'm going to split my hair into three big chunks and just not French braid just do a even regular braid with the medium size small French braid in with the hair and then you're just going to braid all the way down. my elastic. Now to make the braid look thicker, you can kind of pancake it just to make it look a bit thicker. And this is perfect for back to school, this is perfect for spring, perfect for everything. So it goes from here, trails down into a regular beautiful braid. That's my mini mirror. Okay, you're not good at the whole thing, but who cares? Okay, so I'm basically going to be leaving the French braid in. I'm going to pancake it a little bit. Now I'm just going to take my hair clip and pin it down. You can use any basic hair clip that you'd like. This is the only one I have around currently. You can use bobby pins. You can use basically anything. So this is the finished look. It's super easy and it doesn't take a lot of your time at all. So... I have a full body mirror on the other side, so it looks a lot easier. So pancaking is just thickening out the braid, making it look bigger and fuller, and I honestly think it looks so cute. Okay, so with this hairstyle, I am going to... 
this braid again, but this time I'm going to go all the way back and just continue down the braid. So I'm going to take about a chunk of hair this big and this long. And then I'm going to secure my hair into a side ponytail on the other side so it'll be out of my way. Tighten it. Keep it over here. Maybe I'll pin it to the other side as well. I'll pin it up here. How's this hairstyle? Okay. So, come pin it on and have a pillow. out the open parts of my hair. Okay, so then again, I am going to take three strands of hair, or a medium-sized chunk, which is basically my bangs, and then I'm just going to French braid it. Now the French braid honestly does not have to be perfect as long as it trails to the back or if you're going to do a regular ponytail, a low ponytail, a high ponytail, a side high ponytail. Okay, so the Frenching is done. It's time to just regular braid it all the way back. Okay, so now that this is done, I'm just going to take this pin and pin it down for now. So it'll stay. Now I'm just going to take the rest of my hair and put it into one high ponytail. So I'm just basically going to be using my brush for this part. And bringing it as high as possible. Make sure the hair is nice and not free. Okay, so now that I think my ponytail is high enough, I'm going to take my elastic. But before I actually start wrapping it, I'm going to remove this clip, take the rated hair, and pull it into the ponytail along. Clips kind of high. Brush out the ponytail so it doesn't look ratchet like mine. And what? Well, that's the finished look. Are you still creaky? Really? I was filming.